everybody, Tom Berry here with Investor Loan Source on ILS Capital. Today's topic is the top four reasons I prefer commercial real estate investing to single family. Now, I want to first start off by saying I loved our time in single family real estate and it provided us a phenomenal amount of education and experience. And I wouldn't trade that education and experience for anything in the world. So I'm not putting down single family investing with this video, but I'm rather adding to your mindset the possibility of adding commercial investing to your repertoire as well. So top four reasons I prefer after having done both commercial to single family. Number one is the tenants. The tenants are different. If you think about the tenant that rents your single family home or your B or C class apartment complex and then you think about the tenants that we have in our office building in Houston or our shopping center in Rockport it's a whole different tenant right they are professionals they are business owners and they they maintain their lives, most generally their financial lives, much different than your B and C class tenant in single family or uh, apartment complexes. I know apartment complexes are often lumped in with commercial, but they are commercial in some aspects, they are residential in others. And here's where I'm going with that. My number two reason is the leases are different. Now. Apartments are pretty much the same as single family. The reason, they're residential leases, meaning it is a lease on a space for someone to live in. And that lease is gonna look very similar whether it's an apartment complex unit or whether it's a single family. But when you get out of those two and you go into pretty much every other aspect of commercial real estate, the leases are totally different. You're gonna see triple net leases, you're going to see modified gross leases, you're going to see double net leases, and other leases that are commercial in nature because they are not written on a dwelling. They are not written for a family to live in. And that is very, very key. Now, the economics are different in these leases. Take for example, a triple or double net lease or a modified gross lease, that allows the owner of the property, you the real estate investor, to take Take your expenses as they are climbing and pass those on to your tenant. Now, you can't do that as easily with single family, which is why most single family or apartment leases are one year. It's the only way you can recoup increasing expenses on those types of dwellings. But in an office building, I can do a five-year lease. On a shopping center, I might do a 12-year lease, depending on the tenant. And as my expenses increase for property insurance, taxes, maintenance, management, those are all expenses that I can pass through those increases to my tenants. Therefore, I can lock in longer terms and have way less turnover than I would over here with apartment tenants or single family tenants. And those lease differences also bring me to my third reason that I like commercial. The laws are different. They are way different. As we saw with COVID, dwellings were completely dominated by bureaucrats. Meaning bureaucrats, whether elected or not, could tell you, the real estate investor, you have to house these people whether they pay you or not. And by the way, you can't evict them, you can't harass them, you can't do anything about it. It was literally a takeover of real property by government. You didn't see that with shopping centers, you didn't see it with office, you didn't see that with self-storage or any other asset class because government typically doesn't jump in in commercial. But with homeowners or home dwellers, they always jump in when they have an opportunity to. Laws are also different for eviction. Over here with single family homes and apartments, there is a specific set of guidelines you have to go through, a specific sequence of events that have to happen, and those are different in every state. Those are going to be very restrictive 
over here, you don't pay, we throw a lock on the door and you can't get in your office space. I know it's different in every state too, but it's much more lenient in other asset classes. And then the fourth and final reason that I like commercial over residential is the management of it. If you think about a tenant that is going to sign a five-year lease, a 10-year lease with you, and it's a triple net lease where you pass through all the expenses and all the responsibility, there's very little management to that. Now you contrast that with a piece of property that has people living in it all day and all night. It has restrooms, bathrooms, it has kitchens, stoves to catch on fire, toilets to clog, and all these other pieces of equipment that we don't have over here. There's a huge, huge difference in the management of those properties. So those are my four, four reasons that I like commercial over residential, and I'll throw apartments in that residential category for this particular talk, because those four things are tenants, leases, laws, and management. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.